Hi guys, this is the advisor and welcome back to my channel. Now it has come to my attention. Me say people may get some information. And of course, I have to be, um, bring my viewers and subscribers up to date. But honestly, I'm tired for you to call me labor right. I'm tired for you to call me comrade. So just call me a giver of information. Because me always split from both sides. If PNP do good, me I go say them do good. If PNP bad, me I go say them do bad. If JLP good, me I go say them do good. If JLP do bad, me I go say them do bad. Nobody, no other blogger, cuss Andrew Holness and Horace Chang like me. Nobody criticize um, Tiefin Philip Palwell and the nerdy opposition leader like me. Well, I just call things as it is and who no like it, boy. So if you can't take the truth, then this channel is just not for you. Anyway, I get some information. And I was kind of waiting to flesh it out some more because it's over a week now. And I am able to flesh it out. Now we know why. Vibes Cartel was actually let out of jail. Now we know why the cartoon was actually released and it did not go back to trial. You see guys, some secret deals were made behind closed doors. You see guys, Isaac Buchanan has very high ambitions. He wants to become a member of parliament. And the vehicle that he wanted to use to achieve that aim was the People's National Party. And of course, if you're going to be a politician, you need to have supporters. You need to have money people behind you, which is, of course, first and foremost. Don't get me wrong, you know. I said Buchanan already has his own money, but him not go use fee money and run politics. Him smart. He wanted two more money machines behind him. And those two money machines was Vibes Cartel and L.A. Lewis. And the feather in his cap was to ensure that Vibes Cartel come a road. And he knew he could not beat the system, beat the legal system by going through the proper procedures. So, secret negotiations were started behind the scenes. He was scared. Well, everybody on the defense side were scared that if this goes back to trial, it's a slam dunk for the cartoon to remain in prison forever. And they never want to take that chance. Therefore, they decided to work with the brown paper bag. People, let me tell you something. In the Bible, it says, For it is written, There is none not righteous, no, not one. The same Bible also says, For we are all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. It also says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I made those quotations to say this. No matter how you see those people up there persecuting cartel and want him to go to jail because they actually want him to go, I think. But behind all that, do not forget that every man has his price. Even every single judge and lawyer have the price. And as I've said before on this channel, if you bribe a man, if you try to bribe a man and what you offer him, if he doesn't take it, it does not mean he cannot be bribed. All it means is that you have not reached his threshold. In other words, go back and put more on top of it. It's not that him can't him not take bribe. Every human being on the face of this earth have the limit by which they will say yes to anything. Or should I say almost anything. Anyway, I hear say that 
cartel decide that instead of spending so many more millions and sitting down in court and go through another trial which he might not win, it is best to just pass along a large brown paper bag. And this paper bag was huge. Based on what I'm hearing, L.A. Lewis had $4 million in the paper bag. And that is just his contribution alone. So we can figure that there was maybe 8 or 10 million perhaps more in that paper bag by the time it reached the people them where it's supposed to reach. I also heard that as his contribution, Isaac Buchanan had waived his fees towards the consultation by Vibes Cartel in order to make sure that the bag had been enough to serve the purpose. And guys... Just like that. Vibes Cartel just walk. I guess he met the price that the prosecution wanted. As them say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. They also say that money talk and bullshit work. So, how did we get to that and I sat Buchanan becoming a member of parliament? Or how would that help to fulfill his ambition? Well, I hear from the same source that Isaac Buchanan is going after the East Portland seat. He is going to try and unseat action on in that constituency. Boy, Isaac, me I tell you, you have a real challenge for your hands doing on my bridging. Because let's be fair, action on has been working. Mrs. Ann Vaz has made an impression down there. So, it's, it's not going to be easy. But then again, this is democracy. Try your luck. Hopefully, I wish you all the best. Because his intention is to continue being funded by both L.A. Lewis and Vibes Cartel and another big industrialist right here in Jamaica. I have his name, but me I try clear up something and I wait for one little piece more information before I call that name. But this man have over a billion Jamaican dollars to his name. And with that kind of backing, I'm sure Isaac can make a good showing of himself. And we have to understand, you know, that Vibes Cartel needs strong political connections in order to make his life a lot easier. And he's not concerned about spend, about the amount of money he has to spend to ensure his safety. And he doesn't feel safe, very safe under the JLP government. As a matter of fact, regardless of JLP or PNP, he is not going to feel safe because he does have his enemies. Which, of course, are not motivated in any way, shape, or form by Jamaican politics. Now, I said all that to say this. His turning up at the PNP annual conference was no coincidence. It was important that he come there and show his and publicly display his support for Isaac Buchanan. In my opinion, though, we are really, we are really taking Jamaican politics beyond the pale. When we can have, and, and I mean any side, can actually have public displays of people like Vibes Cartoon, who is of such unfavorable characters. But we have to understand, you know, that this goes back very far in the life of the People's National Party. And this is history, guys. So let us not pretend as if this is something that I'm just making up. Calling shite for what it is just, just mean you're honest. We need to remember that back in the days of Michael Manley, he was always on stage with Fedamap, Boy, Skengdan, 
and a host of other gunmen, known gun, gunmen at the time. But things seem to have calmed down and that had never happened a lot since. And I don't think any political parties should go back to that again. And let us not forget the group of politicians led by Omar Davis at the funeral of Willie Haggard, whose death it is believed that he same one had ordered. So all I'm saying really, you know, is that we need to leave that side of politics and let it stay where it is. And I mean both PNP and JLP. Because at the moment, it seems that we are going down a very slippery slope. And I really am hoping that the Jamaica Labour Party do not take any cues from this. Because it definitely is not the way to go. All I want is for both parties to eschew unsavable characters from their midst, push them away, and rise above that, build a better standard to take Jamaican politics to a higher level. And then again, you know, nobody can stop you know, from having them under the quiet. But you know, should not come up front and a prims up with them in public like that. It no look good. It's not a good look at all. As for Chief Curry, I haven't got anything against him personally. As a matter of fact, I will commend Chief Curry for actually fighting to protect the cockpit country that um, Andrew seemed to be hell-bent on selling out part of it to foreigners. As for L.A. Lewis, Kudos to him, a strong black man. As we all know, him head not too right. But if him head is right enough for him to become a businessman and make so much money, I say kudos to him. Big up yourself, L.A. Lewis. Big up yourself, Chief Curry. Enough respect to Uno too. Pity that Uno and the PNP have to associate with that scoundrel named Vibes Cartoon. So guys, let us watch how that East Portland seat, how, what going to happen over the next few months, and we're going to see how right I am. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. Like, share, leave a comment below, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.